when was the moment you said holy shit was it was it the letterman finally being on letterman was it you know your first special was it your first book you know what was the yeah. what was that moment where you thought you fucking did it jim you fucking went against the grain you did it your own way here you are and you said hey and you could appreciate what you had done and really um kind of just said nice job i mean there was uh there was a couple moments it's i mean letterman was like i remember thinking okay i can because you know what in that era and and as an actor or a comedian when you would tell people you're an actor or a comedian they'd be like have you been on anything <laughs> and if you had nothing to say they would look at you like oh and so i knew once i did letterman i had won that argument yeah. so i was a real comedian that that was a measuring stick there was my personal measuring stick and the measuring stick that i encountered like people used to be like you should go on the tonight show it's like it's not like i haven't <laughs> thought of this, right <laughs> but i would say that uh. there's moments where I mean, I'm sure it's the same for you. Like, there's moments where I also, I don't, whenever you think you got to figure it out, you don't. You know what I mean? It's so, but I would say that there are moments where I'm like, oh, wow, this is nice. Like, for me, I felt like, you know, I mean, I even feel like when Dave Attell told me he thought I was funny. Like, that's a huge thing. That was a long you know, time ago, I, too, wasn't it? Yeah. And then, like, doing Dr. Katz, I was like, oh, that's actually a show I want to watch. Yeah. And, but I think there was also, um, you know, when I was, it's so funny, because, like, I, uh, I was doing stand-up, and I had had different managers, and, um, you know, like there's no rules for like managing a career. I remember I was talking to Ed Helms about this. He's like, there's no internship on how to deal with like, Oh, you're, you're, and it's not about money. It's about like, Oh, here's what you should do. Cause there's no, no one's had the exact same experience, but there's, there's a moment where um, I remember I was touring doing stand up. Again, I had a lot of, uh, you know, I had done Welcome to New York. I had done The Ellen Show. I had, you know, like the acting, the stand, the sitcom acting thing. It's it's weird because like the, again, it's like what happens in my life. I feel like this is a therapy session. What it happens is. in my what what happens in my life is. I have to learn things over and over again. And so the, one of the things I constantly fall into the trap of is getting caught up in other people's expectations. Yeah. So in my parents' expectations, nothing malicious, but they're like, success is wearing a coat and tie. So I spent up until my 20s, success is wearing a coat and tie. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wear a coat and tie. That's how you get happy, right? And so... The whole thing is, is when I did Letterman and then I got Welcome to New York and then I got on Ellen, uh, the Ellen second show, I was doing the sitcom route. And then I was on that 70 show and Ed, I did, I reoccurred on Ed. And I remember thinking, like even, if, you know, the, that 70 show was so big at the time, but I remember thinking, well, this isn't that fun. 